Okay, so what I want to show you today is uh, a little uh, function to be able to do these different kind, these uh, nifty kind of flyouts. I got a couple of customers who called me up for these uh, flyout type uh, uh, toolbars. So here we can create these different flyout toolbars. So uh, to bring in some symbols and stuff like that. So like here. I have these toolbars that if I click here, I want to see some terminals. I can access the terminal strips. Uh, I can go back. I get the, I get a couple of toolbars that look similar to this. So they're basically flyouts. It kind of takes less space, and they're kind of nice to nice to make. Um, organize yourself as well. So how do I proceed? Um, I go here to options. I'm going to create a new toolbar. Um, so there's a, a few things you got to keep in mind. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a toolbar, and this is going to be my main, uh, I'll call this, sorry, I'll call this macro uh, main. That's going to be my first toolbar. And I'm going to grab this guy here, I'm going to put him right here. Then after that, I'm going to grab here, I'm going to make another one called uh, macro copy. That's going to be copy of my main. I'm going to say OK to that. And this is going to be the copy of the main toolbar, and you'll understand why in a sec why I do this. Um, then I'm going to create a new toolbar, and that one's going to be called uh, symbol macros toolbar. So I'm going to bring that one, I'm going to put that one down here, and I'm going to create a fourth one, and this one's going to be called uh, window macros, and I'm going to bring this one, I'm going to put them down here. So technically, what we have is we have a set of four toolbars that I've pre-made. Now what I need to do, I need to start putting in some commands and what I'm going to do for the first one, I'm going to create an actions command and it's going to be called this one here called copy toolbar. I'm going to drag and drop it in. I'm going to grab an image file which I already made and this image file is going to be up here and that's going to be for my, uh, let's say, window macros and I'm going to put in a tooltip. This is going to be uh, open uh, window macro toolbar and here's the action what I want to do is I want to copy toolbar so I want to copy uh, from window macro toolbar so window macro to uh, macro main so what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the window toolbar and I'm sticking it over here that's gonna make my fly out alright so that's the action I have to do so what I need to do now is I'm going to put this into the copy as well. So I'm going to make the same inf the same file, the same toolbar, and this one is going to be uh, I'm going to I'm a little bit of lazy, so I'm going to copy this, paste it over here, and copy the action and paste it over here. So basically, what I have is an exact copy. Uh, I'll add another toolbar here. I'm gonna bring it over, stick it in there. It's gonna be my symbol macro. Tooltip is gonna be uh, open symbol macro toolbar. And this is gonna be copy symbol macros to the macro main. And I'm going to, again, have to do the same thing on the other toolbar, which is an exact copy. And here, again, I'm going to be a little bit lazy. Copy. Paste. Copy. Paste. Good. So those two toolbars are identical, except the name of the toolbar is different. Now what I need to do here, that's my symbol macro toolbar. So I'm going to use, again, a copy toolbar. And this copy toolbar action is basically going to bring me back to my main toolbar. So I'm going to go back here, use this button back. And this is going to be go to main toolbar. And what I'm doing is I'm going to copy the macro copy toolbar and I'm going to copy that over to the macro main so I'm grabbing this toolbar here and I'm copying it back so that's what's going to make my fly in and I'm going to do the same thing over here so we're going to need one too same symbol Whoops.
back that's it and this is going to be the same thing so I'm just going to copy that copy paste copy and paste okay now all I need to do now is to start putting into uh, into my toolbars the buttons that I want so here I this toolbar is actually going to uh, be a macro toolbar at, uh, uh, for Windows and for symbol macros. So here I'm going to grab a insert macro button. I'm going to bring that into my symbols. And this one is going to be, I, I made a few icons and I have here a motor. Uh, where did I put the motor? That's the encoder. I know I have an encoder that I need to bring in. And a tooltip is going to be encoder macro and all we need to do now is put the file name in here and to see the file name um, here I'm gonna bring in just gonna show you I just dumped my uh, files up in here so these are the macros that I'm gonna be using I'm just gonna stick them on the other screen so I can see them and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my toolbars customize double click on this that's the encoder macro and the encoder macro is just an encoder EMS so I'm gonna say encoder EMS now due to the fact that I put it into my desktop and it's not in my uh, default uh, macros tool uh, folder I have to include the shortcut so ideally what I would have to do is I'd have to include uh, the whole uh, string the, basically the whole path so here under desktop and then here under uh, encoder so technically what I'd have to do is I'd have to put in as a uh, uh, put this the, the whole string the whole path uh, into my macro file so basically here I'd have to put in front of it probably have to do like C two dots and then it have to be like user uh, because I'm in Windows uh, 8 and then I'd have to do backslash and so on and so forth so this is the way that I'm gonna get my macros to come in okay but uh, what I'm since I'm gonna be doing it the proper way and my my suggestion is gonna be to make sure that these macros that you're creating are in, in the default location uh, so as not to remember you know these specific folders if you do go to the folder route then I would highly suggest to keep that in mind and make sure that you put the proper path so basically here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my customize and since I have put it in the right location I don't really need to worry about the this I can just leave it as encoder EMS hit OK I'm gonna add in another command it's gonna be another action it's gonna be an insert macro again I'm gonna put it into my symbols and this is gonna be my SEW drive and this is gonna be SEW drive macro and this one here is gonna be uh, the name of it is gonna be I think I gave it this name right here dot EMS and it's again in this in the proper location you do have a variant that you can specify if ever this macro that you're putting in has a specific variant assigned to it so here's the toolbar for the symbols I'm gonna do the same thing now for the window and I'm gonna put that one there and this one is gonna be I have a drive uh, symbol I think I where I put it well we'll say it's this one right here for now and this is going to be my um, motor macro so I call it insert motor macro and the file name is going to be I believe motor macro dot uh, EMA all right, so they're in the default location. I don't need to worry about assigning the proper path. If I did, I'd have to assign the proper path. Don't forget to do that. So basically now I have these two uh, toolbars and they're pretty much set and ready to go. I can hit OK and I'm going to keep the main toolbar and the main toolbar I'll just stick it somewhere up here and these other toolbars I can close. I don't need to use them anymore. And now if I want to use the insert uh, macro, so let's say here, uh, while I'm going to grab this here, I can get rid of it, delete it and I can grab my motor line I can delete that as well and maybe delete this so funny okay so basically now I can grab here let's say I want to insert my symbol click on that so the toolbar flips I can grab my encoder and my macro comes in I can place it in the proper location I want to connect it right there 
and it's going to ask me the insertion mode. I want to number it. Sure, go ahead and number. So it's going to number the DTs. Um, then I'd like to bring in uh, my drive, let's say. So here I can click on my drive and I want to bring that in uh, right about, uh, let's say, here. I can click that, drop that in. You want to number it? Sure. Uh, then I want to drop in uh, my motor macro. So I'm going to insert my motor macro and uh, this particular motor macro is going to come about here and I can drop that in. Click. You want to number it? Sure. So uh, I created this toolbar and it's a fly in, fly out. It has different uh, options assigned to it and this is basically how you do uh, fly in, fly out toolbars. So I uh, hope this helps. Uh, if anything, let me know.